What's going on YouTube? It's Q back here again with another video for you. Today's video, I'm excited. You know why? Because we got a dream car right behind me. So this is the 2023 Cadillac with no diamond in the back, CT5 V Blackwing. And this is the pinnacle of General Motors performance cars and the four-door sedan. I think this is the greatest sedan ever made. See, we got the red brake calipers down there. So this is going to have the same engine, but a little bit souped up as my former ZL1 Camaro had. This is going to bump it up to about 668 horsepower. Correct me if I'm wrong, going off the top of the dome with this one. And check out this package here. We've got the black wheels with the white paint on it. It looks so menacing, so great looking. And we also got a CT5V or CTSV up front, but I had to do the black wing first because I've been waiting to get my hands on one of these for quite a long time. So this review is more about the drive. We're not going to get too in depth with it. I'm going to see what it's like on the inside, but I'm excited to drive this thing. So before I do that, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, browse the channel. Let's jump into it. And this marvelous CT5V Blackwing can be found for sale at City of Cars for a cool $91,000. So check out their website. I'll put a link to this car in the description so you can buy my dream car from me, but you gotta buy it from under me. If this car had a manual, I had to put the house on the market for sale, but this is gonna have the auto. We got a 10 speed auto in here. I'm not sure. Let's start from the back real quick and work our way on up to the front. The trunk is gonna be one of those soft opening. Got a little switch up under here, a rubber switch gonna open. The trunk is quite large, a little bit narrow for what I think the size of the car is, but it's a, a mid-sized Cadillac. You gotta pull it down to close the back seat so i have driven the ct4 v blackwing we got like a little rubber thing on here that we pull or push depending on how you want to look at it and these seats are set to the auto mode where it's going to slide back so these are the upgraded seats with the black in it so they're going to be i'll talk about that in the front but we got the red seat belts in here the back can i fit behind this seat all the way back i don't know i'm gonna have to slide it up some so hopping into the back dang whack my head <laughs> but got a lot of room back here if i sit behind myself not exactly sure what seat position this is but this caddy has about an inch of head room above me i'm 5'11. some room in front of me for the knees so this could be the perfect do-it-all sedan it's going to be a competitor to the m5 but this is the best sedan because you can get it with the manual especially in today's market a supercharged v8 let me go on up to the front seat because we're close to be able to drive this thing right now front seat more of the same for this rubber thing the front seat so these upgraded seats the ct4 v blackwing has a similar seat as well you can tell by the diamond stitching and it's going to be heated ventilated and it's gonna have a massaging feature, not like a true massage, but a lumbar. It's a massaging seat. Got this button on the side to activate that. The interior, this one's all black. Got the suede steering wheel, the red center line. We have a panoramic sunroof, which I'll open up once we get in here and drive. A rimless, frameless mirror. Uh, so you can get a bunch of options on these, like different brake calipers. You can get a carbon fiber package, which this one does not have. Carbon fiber package will add a few grand. There's two levels to it but I'm about to get behind here and drive because that's the most exciting thing about the CT5V Blackwing. So let me put on the GoPro and let's go. Let's get an exhaust clip first. I'm about to let y'all hear it from right here. I've been driving cars where the exhaust really don't matter, some EVs, but this we got it here. Mm. This thing keeps sliding me all the way back. Turn the air off for a second. Put this thing in track mode so we can hear it all. Gonna open up that quad exhaust. Mm. Gotta love these GMVH. Let's drive this thing. Enough said. I wanna take you for a ride. Shout out to Marvel vs. Capcom too. Let me know if y'all ever played that game before. I think it's just one of the greatest fighting games of all time. Man, this easy enter and exit, this thing go all the way back. 
I can lay down and drive this car. Just gotta have the red seat belt. Buckle up for safety. Got my wheel cut already. About to turn that massage feature on because why wouldn't I? <laughs> Ventilated seats. Turn the air up just a little bit. Now these definitely feel like plastic. Classic GM. And I used to work on these radios. So if you want to change these, all these customizations. I used to actually work on this menu. I used to have the Cadillacs with like the truck options here. But uh, let me get to the driving part, man. What's this V mode button do? So you can customize your V setting. I'm gonna just keep it basic because I'm not gonna be with this car for too long. I'm gonna start off in tour. And like the same way people that never driven the manual look at a manual transmission, I'm looking at this auto like, what the heck is this? So I was fumbling around with it and it lets you know you gotta press the shifter button, which is over here. Flick it down to go to drive. And we're off and we're going back. So you gotta go to reverse, reverse, reverse. All right, sit low up in here. I actually like that a whole lot. Raise my seat up a smidge. Starting off in tour mode. Seats are firmed in the mud. Seat belt just hugged up, tightened me up a little bit. here opens up to the side I don't like that design cup holders right there what else you got going a little bit of carbon fiber trunk release same old three memory settings and this car is pricey but you get a lot for it but it is pricey I'm working my way up to get one of these man y'all better leave a super thing super something give me something Help this video go nuts, cause I need one of these in my life. All right, let's get on out here, y'all. And this is rear wheel drive. <laughs> Woo! And let's just go straight to track mode. Tighten up. <laughs> and we gotta slow it down. Paddle shifters. I'll do manual mode. Uh oh. I gotta move it to the side or something. Uh, that's what sucks about having these cars for not too long. Just hopping up in it as opposed to having it for a week. Let's see how he handles. Man, that is sharp. This car is either 4,200 pounds or 4,400 pounds. But like I said, this is an Alpha chassis. The best chassis out there, especially in the car this size. The greatest. You can't beat it. Man. Woo. <laughs> and the exhaust is doing the pops too. I see that dog back there taking the crap. Yeah, I would too. I'm about to if I get on it hard enough. <laughs> but this is a dream come true. Shout out to City of Cars, man. Go like their Instagram, follow them on YouTube. And if you're interested, buy this one. Because I swear, if this one was a manual transmission, mm, my God, I'd be all over this. Finna take off slowly. a little bit of the supercharger wine that's something the mopars do better but i don't know if you want to hear that in your classy car like this one you might not want to hear that as character though so what kind of what's this powertrain the lt4 somebody let me know blueprint where you at you know what it is he's my go-to gm guy for all the knowledge and a lot of y'all are too y'all came from my camaro and now you get content like this so shout out to everybody that stayed from the Camaro videos. Because I do love GM's performance cars. I'm not biased towards any car. But these have to be my favorites. They just tick a lot of boxes for me. The engines I do think can have a little bit more character. But 
as far as the suspension it's fast enough it's fast enough it's not the fastest car out there it sucks that this bus is back here why is it back here but yeah they they do a lot of things right especially for the track this suspension is is a, a modern age marvel i don't know how they got a car this heavy to handle so well this it's just this chassis man what are these guys doing we gotta go around these guys but <laughs> hey I need to slide my seat up some I wasn't even full throttle on that thing can chuck this around it just grips good googly move I gotta get one of these and this ain't even a mangle <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love this car, man. Let's see what the turning radius is gonna be like. I don't know. I haven't driven one of these, so definitely don't know. Uh, that one felt like it was kind of wide. I'm not gonna lie. So little pop. Let's see what we take off like. How do I get this thing in manual? There we go. Slap it back one more time. Now we in manual mode. They gonna bite too. Gotta love that. <laughs> I feel like I can do anything in this car. Anything. And of course, like I always say, these high horsepower cars got limits that are so high, I will never be able to reach them on these public roads. Woo! <laughs> Back started to do a little dance. The forbidden dance. Man, this would be an amazing car. For me, myself, I gotta find a way to get one of these cars, man. This might be the greatest car that I have driven. Wrong transmission, though, for me. You know, I gotta have my manual. Manual Elite is the president of that club. Yeah, GM put their foot in this one. Coming back around. Now that I finally figured out how to get the manual mode. Then I did a little bit of shopping around for one of these. I see that the 2025s gonna come with a uh, Super Cruise. And Super Cruise is GM's autonomous driving mode where it'll switch lanes and just drive for you. And a car like this, most people wouldn't want that to happen. But on a road trip, why wouldn't you? Like, that's. GoPro burning up now. Gotta love this car. Such every every driving input on here. The steering is excellent. This is everything went away from hydraulic and it's electronic. This is gonna have great steering feedback on it. The chassis is remains flat with all this weight on here. The seats hold you in so much. These are firmer seats, but they're in no way should perform uncomfortable as I got this massage thing going feels amazing ventilated seats are feeling amazing as well great everyday car let's see if we can make this fight right here <laughs> yes we can uh oh we got this right before we go back to city of cars Sorry, I couldn't take y'all on the highway today, but this is just a little quick drive of it. It's gonna be more of the same on the highway. This car has to go to detail, but I saw it available, and these cars typically don't last long. And this is the first one that I've seen that city of car, so I just had to get it as fast as that had to be. I appreciate them for that. 
So I hope you all enjoyed this video. Let me know what car y'all want me to do next. So there's a CTS V up here. There's a Escalade V up here. They got a lot of cars out here. I, I see a Mach 1 with a track pack, Corvette over there. They got a bunch of stuff in the house right now. And I'm definitely enjoying that. And there's my Integra. Y'all thought I saw this still here, still live and well. Viper over there. That's my other dream car. And uh Mini Cooper right there. So let me park this up here next to the CTS V. That was a hoot. Slowly bag it on up. Got the 360 camera on here. Sometimes I think those be overrated because I really can't tell what's going on from this top down view. It looks like I'm about to hit the CTSV over there, but I'm like a mile away from it. At least I hope I'm a mile away. That would be terrible. Park it up front right, y'all. Put it in pork. Let me get out. See what these look like side by side. Easy exit. Like I said, that's like a feature you can disable in the personalization screen there. Also, forgot to show y'all as it slides me a mile back. I know the Mopar guys might not like this one, but we got the red key. Fumbling around the red key with the V on it. V Blackwing. It don't say Blackwing on here. I don't know why they just call it the V Blackwing when it used to be a V. Now the V is like a mid-level with the twin turbo or maybe a single turbo V6 on it. But the CTS, that is the true V. So what we got out here at City of Cars, check them out. Like I told y'all, this is the buying center. So this is where if you want to appraise your car, and buy something the showroom is down the street where i'm normally at that's where most of the cars are but this is where they exchange cars from time to time but this right here let's see let me know which one y'all like the most i personally choose the black wing over the previous generation ctsv it's like third it's basically a, a fourth and third gen cts but they changed the ct5 stupid decision in my point of view but yeah. still like this one's a good looker too. Automatic only, but still, I'm gonna get my hands on this before they sell it. But y'all drop a comment, let me know. And once again, huge shout out to City of Cars. So that's all I gotta say about that, folks. Y'all remember to drive safe, and I'll catch y'all in the next video. Peace out.